first step to my visual arts journey was to learn how to draw. I thought this would be simple, but it turns out I was having a difficult time. I sketched different elements onto the paper to help me with my tone and shading techniques. In doing so, I was able to learn about line, shape and form. After this, I was able to try and sketch a drawing, which then I realised I was trying to do artworks that were not appropriate to my school level. For further assistance, I was able to look up the textbook and understand elements of principle and design before starting my major project. I found another video which seemed to accommodate my skills. This artwork was also a step-by-step -step tutorial and I was more confident in drawing this. It ended up so beautiful. Visual arts is an opportunity to explore concepts and materials and a chance to experience the excitement of creative ambiguity and innovative thinking according to Jacobs and Pauli. In the classroom, it is important that I structure the lessons in depth. This way students will have a more succinct lesson and provide amazing individual results. Due to the lockdown, it was really difficult for me to find a dance studio or class that was not full or not taking new clients. I was able to use YouTube again on learning how to dance. There are thousands of videos that were able to show you different warm-ups and dance styles that you can learn. I made sure I chose one I have not really done before, which is jazz. First, I was able to complete a dance warm-up and stretches. Here, I was shown different sets of stretches that were relatable to the dance style I was going to learn. After this was finished, I was able to learn the different jazz dance routines. I found many of the dance moves to be achievable through the teacher's repetition of movement and instructions. I love that I was also able to go back and learn a step again if she was going too fast or I was not able to get the move right. When teaching dance to students, I would be using instructional lessons and going slow for students to be able to action new movement. This is my routine that I learned in the first jazz dance class. I wanted to try a different form of dance style so I chose hip hop. From this class I became more familiar to the style of dance and how jazz and hip hop are very different. For hip hop, although the movements were simple, incorporating these movements with the beat and rhythm was the challenge. According to Schiller and Miners, as dance is based as a whole body movement, it is also a medium through which we can experience the world, express feelings or convey meaning without words. I was able to just let go and enjoy the dance routines and feel good that I have accomplished something new. As an upcoming primary school teacher, I believe that learning an instrument will be practical for me as I will be able to introduce the students from different ages the art of music. As Plato once said, I will teach children music, physics and philosophy but most importantly music, for the patterns in music and all the arts are the key to learning. I was able to go online and look at the lectures and tutorials on music notes that would prepare me. I also did my own research and I looked at music notes myself. I then grabbed the piano and started looking for simple piano tutorials. I was able to then keep practicing and do songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Yankee Doodle and The Alphabet. After three days of practicing, I was able to learn Old MacDonald How to Farm, which I felt was great, and I was able to play it, with a few mistakes of course. When incorporating music lessons in my future teaching career, I would be using visuals, numbers and acronyms, such as FACE and Every Boy Deserves Fruit. This will simplify music concepts for students. Being able to read music at a young age is beneficial as when they get older, they are able to engage in phonological skills which is linked with language acquisition which is mentioned in Jacobs and Pauli. 
As I felt more confident in playing the piano and the positioning of my hands, I was able to play Old MacDonald with no issues. In the classroom setting, I want students to be able to attempt to read and understand music notes and be also able to express themselves through the art of music. My experience with the three art strands allowed me to meet standard two, which is know the content and how to teach it. The focus area I believe to have followed is 2.1.1, which consists of demonstrating knowledge and understanding the concepts, substance and structure of the content and teaching strategies. Being able to understand and play the piano, such as placing your hands on the right keys in the correct sequence, is essential in the learning experience. In dance, teaching a step-by-step -step lesson is important for students to fully grasp the routine and to understand the way in which their body moves. Learning how to draw was a great way for me to not only learn how to conduct and do step-by-step -step lessons, but also to understand how students are able to comprehend different art techniques. I was also able to meet Standard 6, which consists of engaging in professional learning. Here I was able to comprehend and express Focus Area 6.2.1 and understand the relevant and appropriate sources of professional learning for teachers. What I thought was critical during this learning experience was to make sure I was able to complete these activities where students would be able to interact with. We would see this in dance and music, where the music selection and dance routines should be suitable for children. Within the art lessons, I was able to see myself doing generic art lessons, like sketching or painting a picture. I was able to steer away from this and draw things I would not have ever attempted. Overall, my experience with these three art strands gave me the confidence to teach a subject when I am able to have my own class.